Hi guys, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now I just want to show you a box that um, I've been working on and um, it's finished now so I can show you the end result. Now I think this would be an ideal present for Mother's Day um, or it's also a really nice keepsake box as well. So the box is actually just from the works and it cost £4 for the box. Um, on the top here, this is the rice paper that I bought from eBay and I will pop the link in the description down below where you can buy this paper. Just treat it exactly the same as any kind of decoupage paper um, or deco paper that you may have so um, all I did was sand down the box took off the hinges etc then I just um, painted it with some chalk paint so you can use any color kind of chalk paint that you like I just thought this color went quite nice with the, the paper I gave it a couple of coats just left those to dry and um, then I put the hinges and everything back on and um, layered this piece of rice paper over the top. So it was just a little bit short of the box, as you can see there. Um, so once I'd laid it on and it had dried, um, I did spray it over with a um, layer of adhesive like lacquer. Um, but you can mod podge over the top and then all I did to hide the edges was literally just put some of this lace trim down the edge. And I thought it looked quite pretty actually to put some around and inside I've just painted it the same inside so it's all sort of uniform and whatnot and I think I'm going to just use that myself to put keepsakes in special things that maybe the kids have made or you know bits like that because I just think it's really really pretty. Um, one other thing I just want to show you this came from Poundland now um, it was a glass bottle that had like a pinky tone I don't know if you can remember um, but all I did was paint the um, jar itself in um, like a creamy acrylic paint and now this tag came with it so I wanted to keep that but I did take the ribbon off around the top now this bottom part here that says sometimes you win sometimes you learn was actually on the bottom of this rice paper so I cut that off and then used that to stick onto this jar and it does remind me a little bit sort of Alice in Wonderlandy so you can you can alter it more and sort of use mixed media fancy it up quite a lot but I wanted to keep it quite simple um, just to show you how you can sort of alter it. Now the jar, as I said, was a pinky tone, but I've kept the glass top there. I think that looks really nice, like a crystally effect. And the stopper just sort of pulls out like that. Um, so again, that looks nice. Um, all I did was that sort of was tie this around the top or sort of twist that around the top there just to hide this chain. But I did like the chain effect, so I'll just decided to keep that um, and again that was a, an altered bot bottle from Poundland using the same sheet of rice paper so I just wanted to share those two with you so that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already subscribed then please do um, and keep your eye out because we have got the winner of our 5,000 um, subscriber giveaway which is coming later on today so thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye for now